Okay, folks, listen, make sure you watch the video before this one because that was part one. This is part two. And the only reason I'm doing a part two is because my phone stopped recording right when I was almost finished doing the video. I just have a few more things to show you. Anyway, like I said, watch part one first. Okay, so in the past, I've shown this before also. I was the first one to show you guys that Trump's hair looks like the state of Florida, where Trump lives. This is Florida right here. Look at this. It looks just like his hair do. And it also looks like a pistol, a gun. Do you see that? Do you think that's a coincidence? The fact that he lives in Florida... And that I'm telling you that he's going to get a head wound and Florida looks like a gun and it also looks like his hair, which is on his head. Do you understand? And that segues into why the the horrible singer, The Weeknd, was going around for months wearing bandages. Okay, because it's predictive programming for Trump's head wound. And I'm going to prove it to you right now. Again, this is something I've shown in the past, but I'm pretty sure most of you forgot all the information already. First, let me show you when The Weeknd was born, okay? First, look at the way he spells The Weeknd. There's one E missing, okay? There's supposed to be three E's in the word weekend, all right? So there's one missing, and you'll know why, because that's the way he spells it for a reason. So The Weeknd was born on February 16th. That means 216, 216. And why is that important? Because it connects to August 4th, the day I'm telling you Trump's going to get his head wound. Because August 4th is the 216th day of the year. February 16th is 216. You get it? And remember, sorry about that. I just got a text message there. Uh, so remember, August 4th, like I said, is the day Trump gets his head wound. It's the 216th day of the year, and that's Barack's birthday, the day Trump gets his head wound. And you know, 6 times 6 times 6 is 216. And you know Donald Trump, he was born on 614. And on the calculator, 6 times 14 equals 84. You see? It connects to the 8-4 date, August 4th. Anyway, back to the singer of the weekend who was born on 2-16, February 16th. Let me show you why it's so important, that date. So I'm going to connect that date for you. You'll see. So the queen, she was born on April 21st. And April 21st is also the same day that the Space Needle opened. Just the date of April 21st, not the year. April 21st, okay, 421. First, let me show you why April 21st is important. April 21st is the 111th day of the year, okay? And it leaves 254 days in the year. So let's see what the 254th day of the year is. So you see that the 254th day of the year is September 11th. So the backwards of April 21st, the date April 21st is September 11th. And I told you that the next 9-11 is going to be in Seattle and the Space Needle is in Seattle and it's and April 21st, the day it opened, is the backwards of 9-11. And that's why the Queen has a very important birthday because she was born on April 21st. And, the, and this Queen, her mother, was born on August 4th. You see that? She's called the Queen Mother. August 4th she was born. Which I told you is Barack Obama's birthday. And also, Prince William, he was christened on that day, August 4th, you see? And remember, I showed in the last video that George Washington became a master mason on August 4th. Told you that August 4th is super special. And remember, I told you August 4th is the 216th day of the year and backwards, uh, I mean, 149 days remain. So let's see what the backwards date of August 4th would be. What is the 149th day of the year? So 
May 29th is the 149th day of the year. Okay, because see, it leaves 216 days. So August 4th is the backwards of May 29th. You see? And that's JFK's birthday. So JFK, uh, his backwards birthday is August 4th. And August 4th is Obama's birthday, the day I'm telling you that Trump gets his head wound. And JFK got a head wound. Do you get it? He's got the backwards birthday of August 4th. Anyway, like I said, April 21st is a super important day. And I'm going to connect it to... To February 16th, the 216, because it connects to the singer of the weekend, okay? And from her birthday, the just the date, you know, to 216, so 421 to 216, if you go forward 666 days, they land on the date. See, 421, go forward 666 days, it lands on 216. On the weekend's birthday. Now, if you go from the weekend's birthday, 216, and go forward 666 days, it lands on 1214. And what's important about December 14th? That's the day George Washington died, December 14th. Okay, and Washington, Seattle's in Washington. Do you get it? Because earlier I showed you how April 21st, which is the backwards date of 9-11, and April 21st is the day the Space Needle opened, okay? That's how it connects to George Washington's death, because from, uh, from weekend's birthday to going forward 666 days, it lands on Washington's death date. And this is from the Space Needle opening to his birthday is 666 days. Do you get it? I know it's kind of confusing, but if you watch it, you'll under, I mean, watch the video again, you'll understand. I'm just connecting it to death and destruction. You know what I mean? So the weekend, his full name is Abel Maconan Tesfe, whatever the heck. But look at his first name, Abel. Reminds me of Honest Abraham Lincoln, Abe L. Abe L. Lincoln, get it? Because Lincoln got ahead. I mean, he got assassinated. Anyway, let's take his full name and put it into the calculator. So if you took his full name, just look at this first row right here. Forget about what it says here. 18568253. Let's see what else equals that exact same. It's Donald John Trump. It equals 185.68.253. You see that? So Donald Trump equals the exact same as the weekend's full name. Donald John Trump, same thing. Only the front, you know, the, the forward number right here. So I, I already connected his birthday, 216, to the 216th day, August 4th, which is the day Trump gets his head wound. And then I just connected his name to Donald John Trump. Look, it says he's from Toronto in Canada. So they're saying that there's, that Toronto's area codes, there's like three of them, but he, the first one they have up here is 416. And what, and how does that connect to Trump, the 416? See, Trump is born on 614. So it's the backwards of Trump's birthday, that area code, 416. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So that's a third connection to Trump. And Trump, he was supposed to be on the Jimmy Kimmel show at the same time as The Weeknd, but it was canceled. The Weeknd canceled, I think, on Trump. Okay, you see there's another connection to him right there. So now I'm going to show you why this dum-dum is wearing bandages. So let's see what bandages equals. So bandages equals 53, 26, 79, and backwards it equals 163, 46, 209, okay? 
And I know it equals 216 right here, okay? Because that's the August 4th date. Forget about that right now, even though that's important. But bandages equals the exact same as the word comeback. And I told you Trump is going to get his head wound and come back like four days later, like Lazarus on 8-8. Okay? 8-8 is the Lion's Portal Day. Okay? And Trump equals 88. Just like in the Back to the Future, the whole thing was about Trump and the 88 number. Anyway, so come back equals the same as the word bandages. And Trump wrote a book called The Art of the Comeback. You see this? So this is going to be the last two things I show you. So the word the week, remember I told you it's misspelled. There's one E missing. So it's the weekend. Let's see what it equals. Look at this. 9541, 14840. Let's see what equals the exact same as the weekend. The plague. And you know what's supposedly going around, right? Look, 9541, 14840. It equals the exact same as the weekend. That means the word weekend is the word plague. I mean, can you believe this? And what, and here's the last thing. And what else does the weekend equal? It equals the word head wound. Oh my goodness, man. Can you believe this, man? So head wound equals the weekend. The weekend equals head wound. And it equals the plague. And remember, I showed you bandages equals comeback. I mean, you cannot make this stuff up, man. Oh, my goodness. Trump, the art of the comeback. I told you, folks, August 4th, Trump gets his head wound. He survives. And somehow on like four days later, August 8th, he comes back from the dead. And you know what? That's also why the reason... That, that stupid weekend had that stupid hairdo because it kind of looks like Trump's hair in a way. You know, it's got that, you know, just strange, you know, haircut that, that Trump has. Which all connect back to this. The fact that Florida looks like a, the state of Florida looks like, it looks like a gun, a pistol, and it looks like Trump's hair. Just look at the shape of his hair and look at that. You could put, literally, you could put the state of Florida on top of Trump's hair and it would fit exactly. Like I said, folks, I have two predictions. Trump gets his head wound on August 4th, most likely in, in Ohio. And Elvis somehow manifests after a catastrophic event on June 11th in Seattle. And it's going to involve the Space Needle. Okay? These are the two predictions. June 11th, Elvis, Seattle. Trump gets his head wound on August 4th in Ohio. Anyway, folks, end of video.